Hi, this is Casey from Fairwinds Teaching, and I'm here today to show you how to sign up to be on your teacher's book creator account. Once your teacher has signed up for an account and has got, given you either a QR code or a way to join with a five letter or number code, go ahead and click over to the student sign in tab. From here, your teacher will let you know how you're going to sign in. If you have a QR code, you'll select here. If you have a Google account using your email, you'll select here. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with Google today. Once I've selected my email address, it's going to ask you for a join code. Put in your join code that your teacher has provided you. Once you've added your code, click on go. You are all ready to make books. My students have already been creating books, but now I'm logged in as a student to create my own book. I can either go and collaborate on the class book that we are making here, or as you can see, I've created my own book called Point of View. Let me show you a book first, and then we'll talk about how we're gonna create one. This is my Point of View book. I'm gonna have it read to you. Point of View, written by Mrs. Keenan. You can click over the tab to turn the page, or if you select Read to Me, it will flip the pages for you. Check out my point of view book. Yeah. Hey, give me that badge. Oh no, how so scared. As you can see, you can record your own voice or you can have the um, computer read it for you if you don't want to record your own voice. There are some cool features like adding your own pictures and uh, taking pictures of books or even importing books like here. So hey, let's get started. Go back to your books here, and it's very simple. You're just gonna click on New Book. Your teacher will instruct you what kind of book you'll be making, or maybe a comic strip as well. We're gonna stick with a square one by one book. It starts with a blank cover, and you can keep track of what page you're on by um, looking up at the very top. Here are some options of what you can add. You can import your own pictures. Your teacher will let you know how you're gonna save pictures on your computer. You can take pictures with your webcam if your teacher allows it. You can draw with a pen tool, type with text, and then record your voice. Over here, you have shapes that you can also add. Let's go ahead and show you how to import some media. You have Google search if your teacher has enabled it. You can add files from your drive, from links, from media, or um, maps. Maybe you're doing a text feature project. I will go ahead and type in Wolf. From here, I can select what wolf picture I want to add right here. It's going to upload for me. Once I have my picture, maybe I'm doing an informational book, I can add other things like text. You have the option to make it bold, underlined, or even link this text live. You can also record your voice here that says my wolf project. I'm going to click on done. It always imports as plain text here, but if you go over to the little eye icon, you'll be able to edit your text. You can make your text bigger. You can center it, bold it, change the font. There are lots of different fonts for you to choose from. The back button will allow you to change the color or to add your own color. You can add a shadow. You can move it to the front if you want it in front of your picture, or you can move it to the back if you want it to be behind. If you don't like the text, you also have the option to delete it. You also can edit your page. Maybe I want the background of my page to be purple. You also have some really cool borders or pages that you can add. I really like the text under comics. You have patterns and textures, lots of different options, so get to exploring. Once you're done and satisfied with this page, you can go ahead and click the next button. It'll add your page two of three. Once you get to three, you can keep on adding. You can have as many pages as you like. Again, you can go up here, add pen, and you can add your drawing. You can select your different color, and you can use the eraser as well.
Maybe I want to add my voice over top. You always have to allow your microphone and please talk to your teacher before. Once you're ready to start recording, you click start recording. This is my informational project about a wolf. I want to use this recording. It'll add a little button. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger, and you can add it to where you want it on the page. This is my informational project about a wolf. Then you can listen to it there. So again, you can take your own pictures, you can add text, you can record, add shapes. Maybe you want to make your wolf say something. So I can go add shape. And I can make him say my wolf project. So all I have to do is shrink it here. And then I want to move this text in front. So again, I'm going to go here, move to front, and now you have your wolf saying my wolf project. Again, let's go ahead and record some sound. My wolf project. Let's use this recording. Then I can add my little sound bite right here. My wolf project. It automatically saves for you and your teacher is able to monitor everything you're doing while you're doing it. You can go back here and you can see all the books that you've created. I hope you've learned something and I hope you enjoy making and using Book Creator.